The Photos group gives you many tools for importing and touching up photos. You can import a photo or protected photo from a file. Normally, Web Studio will convert any photo or graphic into a bitmap when it is imported and convert again to the appropriate file type as it is building and uploading the website. Photos imported using Insert Photo from File will be subjected to this process. Importing using Insert Protected Photo from File will prevent Web Studio from doing any internal conversions. Web Studio won't modify a protected photo in any way. This extends to many of the photo editing features found in the photo group. A protected photo can only be moved, resized, and turned into a thumbnail. Protected photos will also only be uploaded and stored on the web server once, even if the photo is used multiple times on your website. This feature is for users who have spent a lot of time on their graphics in a photo or drawing program and would prefer to use the files as they created them. For best results, when using protected photos, make sure they are the desired size. Resizing should be avoided because ultimately the resizing will be done in the browser, which may not be using the best algorithms and might produce unwanted pixelation. For non-protected photos, the special effects submenus has several photo manipulation tools. Some have their own dialog box and some will produce an effect automatically. Photo correction will bring up a dialog box where you can have Web Studio auto-correct your photo or manually adjust the brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, and sharpness. Change Colors is a dialog box with hue, saturation, and lightness controls. This is designed to let you easily change the color schemes of one of Web Studio's templates or any graphic that you import. You can even select all the objects on a template and use Change Colors to modify all of them at once. Choose thumbnails to create a thumbnail out of the currently selected photo. Choose the size of the thumbnail and enter an optional caption that will appear below the full size image and when a user mouses over the thumbnail. You can also copy protect the full size image. The copy protection overlays a one pixel transparent GIF onto the full size image, preventing users from right clicking and saving the file. Instead, they'll be saving the one pixel GIF Click OK to create the thumbnail. The Photo Edges submenu has several edge patterns that can be applied to a photo. And the Photo Textures submenu has several textures that can be overlaid onto a photo.